Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, Gracias but okay. Mia. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Talk to him. Hola. Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. She even had us fishers hooked on her Libertad nonsense. Convinced us to help her little invasion of Santuario. Lost five of my best. Now Clara calls me begging for boats, more recruits. Pfft. I'm a pirate first, fisher second. Thank the blockade for that. We use our boats to pull fish from the sea, and we get people and contraband past the army. But El Presidente died in his grip. The new Comandante, Rosario, has locked down all the fuel to keep it out of Libertad's hands. Murders anyone who dares get near it. Clara wants us to help Libertad? Take back that refueling station. Kill Rosario. Help put food back on our tables. Suerte, mija. Danny, the only thing better than a guerrilla is a guerrilla with a nice ride. You want me to steal one? Been doing that since I was a kid. You're in the big leagues now. You need a car? Just call for one. I'll have a friend bring it right to you. Gracias. But you don't have any friends, Juan. Just shut up and call for a car, Danny. Need some wheels. Take good care of her, mijita. Juan, this is a nice car. That's not a car, Danny. That is a 1956 Beaumont Valentina. She's a work of art. Just like me. Except I don't have a ram welded to my chassis to fuck up anyone who gets in your way. You're definitely one of a kind. <laughs> now go get those fascists, tiger! Danny, I hear you're heading into the province of Benzema. Yeah, taking care of a Comandante problem for Benito. Watch yourself. The military in Bensejo is much stronger, better equipped, and better trained. Find some high ground, do some scouting before you pull the trigger. Remember, rule number nine, right tool for the right job. Rule number ten, shut the fuck up. You're an adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. This place is crawling with soldiers. Maybe Comandante Rosario is here too. Mierda! Alarm's down! Spread up! Found you! Shut her! Must be Rosario. That takes care of Rosario. Adios, asshole.
Shit. Benito, you won't be seeing Rosario anymore. You're saltier than you look, Danny. Libertas turning things around, but the job's not done. Head to that fuel station and finish it. Danny, where are you? Heading to the fuel depot. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an FND base now. Danny, the army has bases all over Yara. We want freedom. We need to break their grip on the island. I'll do what I can, Clara. Clara, I'm at the depot. Libertad needs that fuel. So taking that depot isn't just about dealing with the army. It also means securing that gasoline. You've got to do the smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout out cameras and alarms. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got special prizes just for you. Okay, Benito. Rosario is dead, and the fuel is flowing again. See, si, carajo. I admit, I got my doubts about Clara, but I never doubted you, mija. I know a thing or two about looking out for your own. Tell Clara I'm heading to her camp. She's got our phones and our support. Gracias, Danny. You. Yeah, you. Clara, Benito's back on your side. He's on his way to you right now. Shit, Danny, gracias. Now get your ass back to camp. It's time to get off this island. Just remember our deal. I've paid my rent and then some. One of those boats has me sailing to Miami. I keep my word, Danny. How about we change history first? With Anton.
You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. What the fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Hefa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. Is won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns today. Because today I'm going to put a hole through Castillo's warships. I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. Chopper up and running? See, si, but there's an anti aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Okay, Juan, I'll take it out. Sirvio, because if it gets me, I'll make sure my fiery corpse comes down on you like a meteor. Danny, I wanted to tell you something. Hell of a speech you gave. Listen to me. Whatever happened. Everything you've done for Libertad, and for me. Thank me once we've blasted through Castillo's blockade. See you on the other side, Danny. Better watch my step, officer. <laughs> that won't protect you. Hey, Juan, anti-aircraft cannons out. The sky is yours. Now go get those ships, and Juan will be your avenging angel of death. Whatever. As long as you got my back. Ha! I've got your back. A fresh cigar and 12,000 rounds of divine wrath. Vamos echando! Clara, I'm close to Castillo's ships. Ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse. 
with an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. One. Move up, guerrillas! Air one is in the skies and my bullets are hungry! Remember, we take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at this, Libertad. See you on the other side. <gasps> Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. Look before you leap. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. Clara, I'm on board. This is it, Danny. Clear those ships and don't be afraid of using their own weapons against them. Those turrets pack one hell of a punch. Nothing to report. One down. Ha! One boat cleared, Danny. The other one's waiting for you. You make it sound so easy, Juan. Try to call back up now.
Hell of an entrance one. Danish, keep your head down. I'm letting these fuckers up. Got it, Julio. Rice has got your back too, Danny. Keep moving. Drop it, Rice.
They're gone. Are we done? Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are blown to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Where are you, Clara? There's Clara. Viva Libertad, Danny. I have to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs. Until we could scrape up some money, open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free election solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, foreign-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarens will be killing Yarens for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yare is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can't really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. <sighs> Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Traitors! Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Uh. 
Papa! You've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave? Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best, Kiria. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50 50. Nipinga. I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami. Office one. All right, let's work. Want me to make you the best Supremos and Resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan, We'll move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always come back.
Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Castillo was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. I can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? Castile controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. Not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark. Last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Philip Barzaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm gonna get all these groups to sign up for Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. Viva Libertad, Jefa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Tara's best guerrilla. You are. You're not listening. Translate, Juan. The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich from a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants, but she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor, from the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See. Si. Do you want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Danny, 
Listen to Juan. You kill soldiers, Castillo's going to send his special forces after you. Know what makes them so special? They're specially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. But yes, you've been warned. Clara, who am I looking for in Madrugada again? You want Carlos Montero, the leader of a group of farmers trying to take back their land from the army. But he'll never meet with you. Why not? He's what you would call old school. Doesn't like outsiders and doesn't trust anyone except family. Great. Don't worry. Philly can help you. He's your in. He's at his shop near the Martinez airstrip. Ah, <sighs> nothing comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for. Suerte, Danny. This place is colorful. You Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 no Philly here. Whoa, what's in your back? Nowhere I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Can you just come here? Can you hold that down for me? That's a dead man switch. One move. So, why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say I was coming? Clara, Libertad. Those are big names to throw around. <laughs> but I don't see Clara. I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's going to help me take down Castillo. OK. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. That's what he's doing, what Philip Magic, baby. Want us to help Libertad? You need Carlos Montero, oh. our backbone. His family is gonna save our land. Great. Take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philip needs to love you. Step two, baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero. <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. La Espada, his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outcast plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. La Espada, oh man, she's a fiera. <laughs> oh, 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 next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, deal? No. Well, then don't let the potion get you down. <laughs> Fucking comedian. Danny, you know, the guerrilla you tried to blow up. Oh, the hero, que hola. What's this plantation look like? Uh, you know, uh, cigars, white suits, dinner parties, except with guns. Come on, big city hero. You're in the West now. It's a plantation. It's an old building with tobacco all around. Miss Bala got her size on the lieutenant, so she's probably inside. Who is she after? I don't know. The Monteros play a quiet here. And you might actually want to try doing the same. What?
Hey, Clara. Make contact with Carlos Montero yet? Not exactly. Apparently, I have to find his daughter first. Ah, oh, yes, Camila. Do whatever it takes. We need the farmers behind us if we're going to take the West. Heading there now. Call you once I've met Carlos. It'll be great, Danny. Carlos is going to love you. Let's ride. Hey, watch yourself, Danny. Shit. Special forces. This espada has been fucking around. Shit, another one. Should call her the blade. Binga, she's fucking good. For those yarns who are living with their hands in the is happening up there you know who's a traitor to our country your boss napoleon epeke stop please <laughs> who the fuck are you danny from libertad you baby montero baby montero <laughs> you fucking feely i need to talk with your father clara Wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? Please don't kill me. Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, private island. Got what you need? No. But it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss. Jose Castillo, then I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one oh. by one. Oh. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right aquí. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. We'll take the horses outside. Okay. Tell us about this great wonder called Divido. Intruders! We got soldiers down! Intruders! Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced up. Military's going to be on our ass. Intruders! We got soldiers! Okay. I want eyes on them! Oh, eyes on them.
So much for quiet. Let's go. This way. Come on. Right behind you. Don't worry, I'm a friend. Easy! Good, no? Okay, I think we lost them. See, we're good. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? <laughs> Military Academy. 16 to 21. Mm, we can use that. I also make a mean mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. Haven't had anything but Philly septic tank shit for weeks. I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Seems like Castillo's made things pretty rough out here. His nephew Jose is the real problem for us. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon and Pequeño. Little Napoleon? <laughs> Cute. The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for 200 years, and now he's turned it all into slave camps for that Vivido bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Poison made him sick. Not that he'd ever admit it. Now papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. But papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trusts his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. I don't know. There's something different about you. You're not like the others Clara sent. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe. How far away is this camp of yours? Not far. You in a rush? No, no. It's okay. <laughs> Getting some good cardio in. Now, Guerrera. The sword and the hero. Nice to see you two alive. Not all find it, Hannah. Huh? It was all trouble, but lucky for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. I'll have his making dinner. Okay. Who were you? Scouting. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is. I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. These are farmers, no fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 leave Chorizo out of this. Our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us? That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. 
The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camilla. He likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Choris. Save it for the surf, buddy. Come on. Guerrilla. Lara, I made contact with the Monteros. How did it go? Well, Carlos wants nothing to do with me, but I get along with his daughter. I think she's my way in. You need to understand them. Become one of them. First step is understanding this camp. I'm going to have a look around. Okay, Danny. Take care of yourself. You're a new face. <laughs> 